Next Generation Sequencing, or NGS, has forever changed genomic research and has the potential to impact all areas of study, including plant population genetics, single cell analysis, metagenomics, and human health and disease. One potential bottleneck in NGS, whether you're doing whole genome sequencing, whole exome sequencing, or custom hybrid capture, is library preparation, a sometimes tedious but central step towards successful sequencing. In this step, DNA samples are prepared for sequencing by fragmenting the DNA into pieces and then attaching platform-specific sequencing adapters. Today, the main methods used for fragmenting DNA include mechanical fragmentation and enzymatic fragmentation, the latter of which includes both tagmentation and nuclease-based methods. While mechanical fragmentation is accurate and produces predictable fragment sizes, it's also expensive and time-consuming and requires a high DNA input and specialized instruments. And while tagmentation is both fast and flexible, its sensitivity to input material makes it unpredictable. Moreover, enzymes used for tagmentation can lead to sequence bias. So what can you do? The answer is to use fully enzymatic, nuclease-based DNA fragmentation. For example, in the Kaiaseq FX DNA Library Kit, fully enzymatic fragmentation of DNA allows complete customization of fragment sizes, reduced costs, and minimal sequence bias. So whether you need 200 base pair or 1,000 base pair fragments, either from bacterial or human DNA, you only need one kit. How does enzymatic library prep work? By using special buffer conditions, fragmentation, end repair, A addition, and ligation all happen in a single tube with just two reactions to set up. Let's start with step one. We take a DNA sample and we fragment it using novel enzymatic technology. DNA fragmentation is highly random and reproducible, and the fragment sizes are completely customizable. Based on the application and read length, Fragment sizes can be adjusted to any sequencing need. All that's needed is a change to your reaction time based on DNA input. The longer the reaction goes, the smaller your fragments will be. Once a sample has been fragmented, end repaired, and A-tailed, then part two can begin, adapter ligation. Adapters allow the sample to bind to the sequencing chip. They contain barcodes that enable the multiplexing of many samples at once and are added directly to the enzyme reaction at which point ligation begins. Kaiaseq adapters are dual barcoded and consist of a unique combination of two nucleotide ID barcodes, so you can multiplex up to 96 samples in the same sequencing run. This reduces costs and controls the amount of data you generate. In just two and a half hours, the NGS library is ready to QC and sequence. Learn more about how you can improve your whole genome, whole exome, metagenomic or custom hybrid capture project with the Kaiaseq FX Library Kit at kaiagen.com.